Okay, first we're going to look <clears throat> at our mean absolute error. All the mean means is we take our error, and this is the from our exponential smooth problem we looked at earlier, and we bracket it in absolute. So this changes a negative to a positive. So my negative 5 becomes 5, 52 remains 52. Because all we're interested in the variance is how much it varies from the actual, not if it's positive or negative. Next thing we do is we just sum up. So we have, so our formula again looks like the summations of our errors. And we divide, we take the average basically. Um, so all we do is divide through by n. So the sum of my errors, absolute sum. 526, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this, so my mean absolute error comes out to 58.5. Um, this number by itself, usually companies will have a bracket that they want to keep their error within for their accurate forecast. Um, very useful for comparing year over year results.